Hello everyone, welcome to Off to Battle. And this is an ambush battle featuring Teclas and the Order of War Masters as the victims of an ambush by my side, the cult of Sotek led by Tehenuin. And we're going to see how I try to minimize damage and be very sneaky sneaky about things. We have three units of Chameleon Skinks here, three units of Chameleon Stalkers, we have a lot of uh, skink units hidden in the forest, and we have four Croxagore units because I have a special need in the campaign to recruit them, and they can hide in forests. One Salamander Hunting Pack, Bastilladon Arc of Sotek, a skink chief, and we have Tehenuin uh, there somewhere. Now, they don't even see what I'm doing here until it happens. This is the Jungle Swarm Army ability. And this is uh, inflicting poison on various units of Silver and Guard. So you see a very nice, cool, wonderful chariot here. That's one of their wizards. They actually have three wizards in this battle and three great eagles. Teclis is on foot. The other two have mounts of various types. So, what they did here was form up in... Uh, nice neat formation here, taking their lovely time. And what I wanted to do was just not walk into all of their firepower. So we're going to speed things up a little bit, because yes, if they're going to just sit and take it, then we're going to do the same things again. So, all these uh, snakes going around inflicting poison. Because if they're just going to sit there... This is the only bad part of this battle, because... Uh, <laughs> they sat and took it, but look at the damage that this has inflicted. They're trying to heal their own units. They're trying to... Uh, see, now we got a reaction. And they're trying to reorganize and develop some kind of uh, some kind of approach and to heal some of their own units again. So at this point, I didn't really want to just let them do this unopposed. So I went and I bothered them. So here we have the Skink Chief who went and uh, pinged one of their eagles. And then, I just flew the, the Chief over the Chameleon Skinks. Now we are taking incoming Spellfire. Tehenuin has been trying to not be fireballed, but Salamander Hunting Packs have a bonus versus large. Look at that great eagle, uh, the great eagle go down. This other one is chasing the Chameleon Skinks, and they will poison blow dart that eagle all day if they have the chance. The Henwin is coming in to try and uh, do something about that on his Ripperdactyl, because once we've isolated and gotten rid of these eagles, uh, that takes away a lot of their mobility and a lot of their ability to harass and uh, obstruct my forces. And at this point, this is just... there's no chance. Now, here we're doing some... complex maneuvers to avoid fireballs. This eagle is broken. That eagle is not coming back. So now we simply face the problem of uh, how do we win with the least casualties and the least problems. So you see that the Salamander Hunting Pack is just pelting their front unit of uh, Love and Seaguard. They can heal that a little bit, but they can't do that for long. So we've weakened them about as much as we can. The idea was to win the battle before we even fight Sears. So already we've essentially come out on top, just from whittling them down, just from making them fight on our terms. 
So what I'm doing is they're going to have to fight through the Chameleon Skinks, the Chameleon Stalkers, the Skink Cohorts with Javelins, and then, and only then, can they get to something like the Salamandra Hunting Pack. Of course, they do have some archers, and they do have those fireballs to uh, try and uh, help my lord with, but not successful. It's a pretty bad angle. They are certainly trying. And we'll fast forward again and get to... Well, eventually, we couldn't just let this happen, so... It was time to go and settle things. So they haven't even seen all this battle of the Proxigors in the forest. Or the Red-Crested Skinks. And they'll do some real damage when they get in. Flock of Doom to weaken these enemies. And we just have a lot of mass coming in. The Bastilodon is uh, doing its job, dropping some snakes behind it, and just creating lots of chaos. It's very thickly armored, so it's very unlikely that they can actually do something significant to it. And Flock of Doom, once again. Now, they actually managed to net my regiment up now, but it doesn't matter. The Henwin is going in for some close combat with Tekkas. The Crocs of Wars just make this very, very difficult. He's valiantly resisting, but it's just too much. It's just far too much. And in the meantime, these Crocs of Wars and everybody else, they're just going to town. There's just not much they can do. And these aren't even the sacred crossovers. Teclis goes down, and that is it. There's nothing here. And that is pretty much that. So, thank you for watching. This has been Off to Battle with Jeremiah Bork, and I hope that you've enjoyed this little ambush battle and showing how uh, to apply some Sun Tzu principles of uh, trying to win the fight before the fight really begins.